Yo, what's happening people? Hope everyone is blessed and doing good. Just wanted to put a quick video out there today to show some of the channels that I enjoy watching when I'm just chilling out at home. My aim was to focus on small channels that are out there doing their thing but just haven't had their recognition yet and in time it's gonna come because they do fantastic work. So let's do the cliche line and let's get into it. So the first channel is Hyperfocal. They are a photography duo, something that I haven't really seen it unless you count North Borders and Seventh Era, although they have separate channels but these two basically run on the same channel. They mainly go out doing street photography, but they also throw some other things in there, like little reviews of different things that they've tried, challenges that they do with each other, and the sort of videos that they put out when they are doing that POV stuff is a swap between both of them and what they're capturing. In fairness, they do have a variety of content on their channel, so it's not just gonna be straight up POVs and street photography stuff. You're gonna get a bit of variety in the stuff that you go over there and watch. But nah, they're a good channel to watch and worth checking out, 100%. Boys, keep doing your thing. If you're in London, hit me up. The next one up is going to be Christopher Harris. I've mentioned him before on a previous video. Chris is a London-based street photographer. He shoots with a Fuji and goes out mostly doing POVs, but has also been mixing it up by doing street interviews. And I've got a feeling that there might be more of that sort of stuff to come on the channel as well. If you follow Chris on Instagram, he has this thing as well where he basically takes a chair around and it's a little sort of passion project that he does and he's now been documenting this project on film so that's fucking amazing to sort of watch and see so to see the behind the scenes of that process and what his ideas are coming up with moving this chair around the city is crazy Chris, if you see this video, I'm still waiting for you to holler so we can do this behind the feed love to get you on the channel bro, let's get it done so this next channel I stumbled on fairly recently his name's Patrick Gerard Photography on YouTube to be fair, he hasn't got too many videos up yet. He's got about 14, 15 of them. So with the new videos that I have seen from him, they reflect what a new photographer jumping onto YouTube is all about. From what I gather at the moment, Patrick is basically just documenting his journey on YouTube. He's shooting with a Sony and a film camera. And he's also giving like inspirational advice within his videos. He's a very good photographer, so it's not like he's new to this. He's just documenting his YouTube journey with it. The one thing I do have to say was his last upload was three months ago, so hopefully he's going to be making a return to YouTube and continue to put out great content. The coolest YouTuber goes out, that's going to be my next person that I think you should check out. So from what he says on his channel pages, he's a Filipino who's moved over to China and is also working out there, but obviously doing photography. His videos at the moment are pretty broad, so like at the moment he's just finishing up a challenge video where he's shooting photography for seven days straight. He's also put out tips and tricks videos and POV videos and also just general photography advice as well and YouTuber advice. So there's a good bit of variety on his channel. He's uploaded over 200 videos so there's loads to watch on there as well. It's the sort of one that you can start at the beginning and just watch all the way through whether it's in the background or whether you're paying attention to it is another story but it's worth watching. And lastly we have the 100 guy. Came across his channel probably about a year ago and I just loved the concept of what his channel was about. His whole premise was he wanted to take photographs in a hundred different countries and document it. He is the type of guy that just says it how it is on camera. Whatever he's thinking, he'll say it. I believe photography was his outlet from other things going on in life. Unfortunately, it looks like he's ended his channel, but he's got over a hundred videos on there. Again, another one that's worth sitting down and running through them maybe able to get inspiration. Again, the concept of shooting in a hundred different places around the world is cool, but hopefully he does make a return back to YouTube. It would be sad to see him sort of go, but he says that he's accomplished what he wanted to accomplish by basically outletting through video. But yeah, those are five channels that I enjoy watching on YouTube. Hopefully you'll go and check some of them out and possibly give them a subscribe, help them grow. But that's all I've got to say in this one. So until the next one, peace people.